Hey Coop owners, this is how you do the quick factory short ram intake. All you need is one of these 3 inch filters. You can go with Spectra or KNN or any other brand of your choice. You're gonna probably need one of these. It's just two and a half inch pipe. Here's the sticker that came on it. This two and a half inch ID connector. And you need a clamp. That's basically it. You gonna start by removing the stock airbox stuff. You have you don't have to do that step, but I just want the cleaner look. So you remove one ten millimeter bolt, another one, and just pull the whole thing out. And that's how it looks like. If you look down here, there's a ten millimeter bolt. You're gonna have to undo that. Then open. See those four bolts around the ECU. You need to take these off. Once you take them off, remove the whole air box out. Once you take the stock air box out, that's what it looks like. Here in the light, that's the one that you have to get an extension for. You're gonna have to remove this one and four on the side. The ECU mounts where my hand is. That's the intake, filter goes in here, then the exhaust is in the top. And you're left with the ECU. I just didn't want to wobble around, so I got a zip tie here. Zip tied it to the fuse box. And zip tie here, through the two holes, into the mounting bracket where the ECU was. And this mounting bracket was on the side of the ECU, of the airbox, hooked up to the ECU. So I just took that out and remounted it here instead of throwing it in my trunk. I put a small padding thing here so even if it wobbles, it won't hit hard. You can kind of see it. Stops it from wobbling. It's pretty tight. That's the stock air intake. The problem is it's so soft that it collapses every time you put pressure on it. So to solve this, you get one of these pipes and slide it in there. Work with it and don't cut yourself. Because sometimes they have sharp edges. Once it's in, grab the air filter. Put it on, once, it, once it's on there, tighten the clamp, once it's on there tight, tug on a couple of times to make sure it's not coming off, see, I'm putting a decent amount of pressure on it, it's not coming off, last step and this is optional, I prefer it, Grab a huge zip tie, like these, and tie it to here. I've had it tied up here for like a couple of weeks and it had no problem. You just tie it like this, so it doesn't wobble around too much. And that's pretty much it. That's the, the so-called short factory RAM intake. Right. If you have any questions, just ask.